What is going on guys? My name is Ramen back again from Ramen Reviews here with another episode of Hashimete no Gal or My First Girlfriend is a Gal. So this show is something that no one should watch with people around. This is something that is definitely a guilty pleasure show and absolutely this is 100% a guilty pleasure show. You should not watch this around anyone else besides yourself unless you have a perverted friend or significant other watching it with you and much and in which case more power to you but <laughs> regardless i'm really interested on seeing where this is gonna go for some, they actually are doing a different take um in some senses where they're introducing characters that they didn't introduce until later on in the manga um there are scenes that are added so things are a little bit different and stop following the original source material originally completely 100 percent and you know it's not too bad i mean i haven't no i've noticed things but it's nothing that are that is taken away from the experience if you know what i mean so without further ado guys let's jump into the episode of episode two of my first karaoke starting in three two one let's jam Is it already gonna start getting dirty thoughts? Is he having like he is having like internal conflict with himself? The good side, the, the confident side and the not so confident side. Like, he didn't really have that many- <laughs> Oh my god. It's like- he Oh no. Bloody hell. What the fuck? Oh no. <laughs> Fucking per. <laughs> oh god. This show is ridiculous. In a good way though, don't get me wrong. It's, it's great in a good way. It's like, okay, it's like this version, uh... Is like the more risque and more raunchy version of Iramanga Sensei. Like Iramanga Sensei is trash. Hajimete no Gal is fucking trash. But it's not afraid. <laughs> it's not afraid to shove everything in your face. Like, I wonder if it's gonna do the same thing as Iramanga Sensei, where it's gonna keep on trying to one up itself over and over and over again. Man, the black haired girl, when they're in, gonna introduce her, like, and have her become like this, uh, big plot point, oh, it's gonna be fun. The, the manga needs to hurry up and update, because I wanna know what happens. I'm trying to think, do they even actually completely kit no no they don't even i don't think they've even actually kissed in the manga yet so far in fact i think right now he's trying like in the manga spoiler he's trying to convince um to confess his love his actual love definitely is cute don't get me wrong there are already so much fan out fan out what? There's so much fan art of uh, Yame already. It's hilarious.
Oh, that's right. He hasn't told them yet. They're the ones who goaded him to do it. Jeez. I don't think they... <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> oh no. All the friends are gonna see. <laughs> they exchange contact information, yep. <laughs> Immediately 180 turn. An immediate 180 turn. <laughs> what happened to like friends forever? They're like, nope. Oh my god, you fucking pedo. Traitor. Have you done it yet? No. I mean, some people do kiss on the first date. Bruh. Bruh, you need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> Something fucking in my eye. Because that's where all the edgy stuff happens in a karaoke booth. You're a version two. I wonder if that's like an actual urban legend or a myth, but or maybe it's actually true. Like, it's a joke that that's always the case, but. I mean, I don't know, I don't live in Japan, so I wouldn't know, but... <laughs> Multiple... Pervy songs? I don't know. I've never done karaoke. It, it's not too big in the Western scene right now. Well, area. Unless, I, unless you're like me and you're Filipino, then your karaoke is your shit. But I've never actually done it. One, because if you hear me singing, it's scary. I'd probably have to get really drunk to do that. Although, granted, everyone who usually. <laughs> Although, everyone who usually play, sings karaoke nowadays seems to be drunk. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> so fucking stupid. Hey, we get this girl again. I wonder if they're in an integrator much faster than they did in the manga. But I think they had to in um, introduce Rinko or Rinka first. Probably not the best. <laughs> She's a bit of a tease, but that, that's what I like about her. She's a she's a, such a good character. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Is she actually is she gonna? Oh, I thought she was gonna react to something because in the manga she reacted. She acted pretty well, um, pretty interestingly in the manga. It's always good to give her... <laughs> They're like, nope. It's a little bit overkill right there. Bruh. No. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, like you had to swipe your priorities. Oh God, big boob lady, um, big boob lolly, big titty lolly. Oh my God, it is. Oh no, that's right. Oh god. So they've introduced like a quick they did a quick introduction of two characters. I mean, we got them last um last episode but still. Karaoke? I mean, technically, you did get a room, but not in that kind of sense. Remember, she she even said she... <laughs> oh, God. That fucking... That was a great throwback to fucking um, Death Note. That was great. All according to Keikaku. I would have been really happy if, they, if the translator who did this had put up all according to Keikaku. I would have been so happy, but that was so great. That was still a good nod to that series. Oh, she's adorable. Anything other than such.
<laughs> what the fuck was that? He's trying to practice. Let's practicing. <laughs> calm down you need to calm down boy think with your one head not the not with that head bloody hell Oh, God damn. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yes. <laughs> Pun intended. She's a good singer. If that is the same voice actress, that's she's really freaking good. She's a good singer. Like, if you hear me sing, it sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Like, no. Despite me having this voice, it doesn't doesn't work. Especially if I'm trying to hit a high note. Oh, oh, no. Is she actually gonna sing an anime song? Is that from an anime or something like that? I think I think that's what happened in the manga. He was like, "Wait a second. Oh no, he's just in trance. Just a coincidence. I think she's taking him to account. I think she knows the target audience. He's not bad either. Yeah, I think they were saying like in the manga that like, uh, correct, I I'm probably wrong, but I think they were saying like she had researched a little bit because I don't think she actually knew the anime. I think that's what it was because she wanted to at least like do something at least he knew, which was awesome. Yep. See, that's what a girl should be like. I mean, it's also both sides of the spectrum. One needs to do it, the other one needs to do it. Yeah, I mean, you just got—you guys just did a duet, technically, right? It's just a jacket. Come at por favor. It's just a jacket. What the fuck? <laughs> Yes, yeah, see? He's actually the voice of reason. Of 
cool me? <laughs> Oh man, yeah, but you realize that if you try to make a move, it's only been one day. You're probably gonna. Mm -mm. They're like freaking entranced. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't get enough of this fucking guy. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. What are you doing? That's just the holy crap. <laughs> I think she actually needs a cool down. I remember that. She actually looks like, like, it's like, oh, no. Saw right through you. See, she has limitations. She has standards, and I like that about her. Because she, like, she even says, like, she is not a stereo, she is not that kind of girl. Okay, no head turn will make your boobs bounce up. Despite oh, we get it. We're gonna get her next episode. She's gonna be a great. She's such a good character. Oh, uh, she's gonna be so fun. If you think Yame is a tease, you haven't seen anything yet. Oh, she actually looks pretty good with her long hair. Well, her hair down. I don't think we've seen the ending, actually. No, I don't remember that uh, um, ending. See, she actually genuinely likes him. That's the cool part. Like, in the manga, spoiler, he's having this internal conflict with himself where he doesn't know if it's actually, um... If he actually likes her or if she's just basically using him and trying to trick him the entire time. Like, he has this doubt in the back of, mi in the back of his mind that he she's trying to trick him the entirety of the entire time. But then eventually, like, near the end, like, near the last couple chapters, he realizes he really, truly does love her, and he wants to actually say that to her. Because I think Yame actually says that to him. I'm pretty sure, but he doesn't, he, he can't really respond back. Alright, but yeah, good, another good episode, another good episode, no, another fun episode. I hope I don't get another freaking copyright claim on this one, because my last one, it, uh, my Isake Wa smartphone, it got blocked in fucking, like, 223 countries, which is the most I've ever had. The highest was, like, 70 before, so it almost tripled because of that, which was very odd, but, oh well, I mean, it's not, uh, thankfully it's not a strike, but...
but hopefully this show doesn't become the same because first episode was perfectly fine. I didn't get a single claim. Um, and same thing with this one. So hopefully it'll stay the same. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. What do you guys think of this episode? Remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. It really helps make the channel grow and it helps support me, which means a lot to me. Also, follow me on Twitter. I post random shit. I post updates and all that jazz. But anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.